in this season. The Cleveland Guardians off to a 6-2 and two start. They're swinging the bats well. They pitch well. But unfortunately, some very sobering news. When we arrived at the ballpark this morning, Shane Bieber lost for the year. He'll undergo season-ending surgery. Joe Ryan, that's what we talked about. The four-seam fastball added in that sinker. Only threw a couple of them in his first start. Slider's a little harder breaking ball. Newer pitch for him as well. And he makes quick work of Stephen Kwan on three pitches. That splitter at 91. For Joe Ryan and the first strikeout of the day for Joe Ryan. To the right side and a chance for Eddie Julian to play. Two down. Another splitter for Joe Ryan. Softly to right. Julian out. Kepler in. Julian will make the catch. Soft contact induced by Joe Ryan. 37 year old right hander Carlos Carrasco toes the rubber. No score. Bottom of the first. Edward Julian, the batter, checked and strike three called. Outside corner, he got him looking at a changeup. Tenth pitch of the at bat, and that is low. Ball four. So Correa now with seven walks to four strikeouts on base percentage continues to climb. Great to see Alex Kirilov healthy and producing. He's tripled in back to back games. Nine for 22 to start. Hold sharply and this one gets by Naylor. And this will roll and find the right field corner. Correa's got the green light from Tommy Watkins. Meanwhile Kirilov going to third. Correa scores and the twin strike first. The hat trick of triples right there. Three days in a row for Kirilov flying around the bases. A ball Naylor would expect himself to catch but at the same time he didn't catch it because it was hit so hard. Runner at third less than two outs. Contact. Swung on bang to short back in by Rocchio throw to the plate. Hit first slide the tag made by David Fry. And Alex Kirilov is out by eight feet. Rokio with a backhand and strong throw to the plate. Got him by plenty. Again, the 3 2 delivery. And it swung on and missed. He got him with a breaking ball. Carrasco strikes out Kepler. Twins lead it. One to nothing after one. Inside, Naylor got smoked. Oh, man. He got drilled with a fastball in the mid 90s. And he'll head to first. The pitch. And it swung on, banged into right. That's a base hit. And Will Brennan found the hole on the right side, a single to right. Cleveland's first hit, two down, runners at the corners. One nothing, Minnesota, and David Fry catching today. Four for eight so far this season. Now the 0 1 pitch. Swung on, hit high, hit deep to left, away, back and gone. Into the second deck in left field. Fry with a majestic three run bomb. Did not think on a day like today we would see an upper tank job to left. And David Fry pounded it. Here's Matt Walner, a left handed hitting left fielder. The pitch. It's fouled into the third base seats off the facing. Oh my! That fan reached over. It didn't go off the facing of the overdeck. He made a great catch before he somersaulted into the lower deck. The pitch swing and a miss. Walner with the changeup is strikeout victim number three. Welcome back Joe Ryan getting set for the top of the third and on Thursday well he brought his furry friend into the ballpark this furry friend he added to his family in the offseason his name is Jack. Yes it's Jack Ryan swing and miss by Quan he's down on strikes. Joe Ryan, who gave up the three-run homer to David Fry, has had no problems with the top third of the year. Swinging miss, he struck out him and his. Got him on a sweeper. So three strikeouts now for Ryan, including consecutive men to open this third inning. And now it's time for Jose Ramirez. Swung on a weak ground ball up the middle into right center. Perfectly placed between Correa and Julian. And Jose Ramirez with a two-out single. Ryan to the plate, runner goes, swung on a mist, he struck him out, and the base runner is Moot, three strikeouts in the inning for Joe Ryan. Now, Carlos Carrasco is making a lot of pitches, and a lot of 3-2 counts, the fourth one of the game. The Check th swing, strike three called, another changeup on the outside corner, four strikeouts for Carrasco, the 3-2, up high, he walked him. Carrasco has now struck out four, walked two. The pitch, swing and a miss. Runner goes, throw to second, bounces in there, and beating the tag with a steal is Julian. So Correa is strikeout victim number five, and another 3 2 pitch. And it's low, he walked him on a changeup. That is three walks. And Carrasco is at 73 pitches here in three innings. The pitch, 
Swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball. Somehow Carrasco keeps bobbing and weaving. Strikes out three, walks two in the inning. Right a year ago, even with the groin injury that he, that he suffered, the middle part of the season, he had really good numbers at home. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Blew him away with a splitter that time, and Freeman is down on strikes. The fifth. And a swing and a miss. Jeffers can't find it. Trouble picking it up. Throws down to first just in time to get Bo Mailer. But another strikeout for Ryan. That's six this afternoon. Nick Sandlin, who has come on to start the fourth in relief of Carlos Carrasco. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Sandlin reaching back and firing a fastball past Santana. The 3 1. Breaking ball in there, strike two. Walner, he stepped out and was on his way to first base, but he is really upset at the home plate umpire. Called strike three, and Walner walking that tightrope. Hitting coach David Popkins, he had some words for Miller, and he was ejected by the home plate umpire. And Rocco came out to defend his hitting coach. Extra bases for Rocchio, and he is in with a stand up double. The 2 2 swung on ground ball right side on through base hit right field holding at third is Rocchio as the throw comes in from Kepler. Now here's Jose Ramirez with runners on the corners. Hope to left shallow Walner coming out coming out he's there. Couldn't get it to land. They strand two going to the bottom of the fifth. The pitch came up and in and it hit Jeffers maybe on the elbow but he takes first base to open the fifth inning as Sandlin starts a second inning of work and this can can sometimes be a challenge to short Rocchio Jimenez can't make the catch sound up the middle Guardians infield and Jimenez could not make the catch and that's it for Sandlin Stephen Vogt out to the mound pitching change here in the fifth here's the pitch called strike three on the outside corner yet another twins batter caught looking here's the 0 1. Swung on, a chopper to third, scooped up by Ramirez. Steps on the back for one, throws across. In time, he got him. And Rocco will challenge. I'm saying it's safe. safe. I'm saying it's safe. And that was still very, very close, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, I think that's overturned. Yeah, I think he's going to be safe. And we look at it here. Correa lunging for the bag. After review, the runner's safe. Minnesota keeps the shot. Here comes the one two swung on ground ball near the second baseman scooped up by Jimenez throws to first in time for the out a nice work by Smith put one away and he does on a lazy fly ball out and that'll get Will Brennan to the plate struck him out in a splitter Joe Ryan seven strikeouts through six and a hit batter now a walk and Cade Smith is falling into the same second inning trap of work that got to Nick Sandlin. It swung on, bounced up the middle to his right, diving stop, backhanded flip from the glove by Jimenez to second in time with Rocchio stretched out on the ground to field it. Matt Walner, the batter, Hunter Gaddis, the hard throwing righty is in, and it hit him. My goodness, Cleveland has hit three batters here in the last two innings. Swing and a miss, fell to the knee again. Now the pitch. Swing! Chase the high heat. What a job by Gaddis. And Twins fans are booing back to back walks. And the go ahead run comes to the plate in the number three hitter, Alex Kirilov. The pitch swung on a smash to second. Jimenez has it to second one. Rocchio turns two. What a play by Andres Jimenez. That ball was scalded on one hop to the glove side of Jimenez. And he starts the twin killer. The pitch to him. A swing and a ground ball up the middle to the right side of second. Jimenez gloves the second baseman, throws out Buxton. The Andres Jimenez show here in the seventh. Well, the Guardians are putting it in the hands of one of the game's elite closers. And we're obviously talking about Emmanuel Classe, who's three for three in the save department with three scoreless innings. Straight three call! The twin just keep looking at strike three on the outside corner. Here it comes. Swung on, hit a ton. Deep left center. Freeman on the run, reaches out, makes the catch right in front of the warning track. Once again, the 2 2. 
Up the middle and through. Another great at bat from Correa. And the Twins still have a chance. Swing and a miss. Ball game. Got him with a slider. And so Class A gets Carroll off to end it. And more dominant pitching by Cleveland. And one big swing of the bat by David Fry. And the Guardians are now 7 and 2.